Hello, my name is Nathan Cook, and the artwork that I chose was The Gates by Cristo and Jean Claude. When I originally selected this artwork, I thought it would just be another painting, but I was way off on that. So when I first Googled it, I was kind of confused because I saw um, kind of this sketch here, as well as some um, photographs as well, like these. And I was confused. I was like, so is this a drawing? Is this... Um, a photograph, and the more that I began to research, I realized that this picture that's on the screen right now, this is the original design in 1979 of a project that they proposed um, to have in Central Park, to have like a thousand of these gates with the little orange nylon fabric hanging down. They had a dream of that, and it got declined, but they continued making different sketches and different proposals um, because they really wanted to see this turn into a reality. And they waited 26 years, um, and it finally became a possibility in 2005. So this um, is a picture of, this is like an aerial view of the artwork. There were 7,503 gates which ran over 23 miles, and each gate was 16 feet high, and the widths varied um, depending on if the path. So if the path was really wide, then they'd be a little bit wider. If the path was narrower, then the um, gates had to be a little bit narrow. It's really cool to see how the wind kind of moves the fabric that is on there. It gives a lot of movement to um, the gates. The gates. Um, are also moving following the path around Central Park. So it really creates a sense of movement and unity in this artwork that I really enjoy. These almost all look identical, though. Just they're very similar. Um, and it's just breathtaking. It's so cool to see how these work. Um, now, imagine waiting 26 years. This is what they did. They waited 26 years and... This art, they put a ton of work into it. They put a ton of work into setting all of these up. And it was only in Central Park for two weeks, um, 15 years ago. Uh, it was actually in February. So about 15 years ago, almost to this date, it was there. And um, some people question why you would do art that would just end so easily. Um, and Christo and Jean Claude have a really good answer for that. They said that they kind of wanted to create the feeling of like when you're a child and you kind of miss um, things from your childhood um, because childhood does not last obviously. Like if you watch an old cartoon or eat old cereal that you ate as a child it kind of brings back some of those memories. They wanted to create the value of temporary temporariness that only comes with like childhood and other things like that. But they wanted to add this feeling as a part of their value to add to their aesthetic quality and their artwork, uh, which I thought is really cool. One thing that I would also note is that um, with all of their artwork, they tend to um, use artwork in nature. So they, they kind of build off of what God has already created and made beautiful and made a work of art that they like to add to it, um, which I think is really cool. And it shows that um, artwork can be both man-made and can be natural. And it's really cool when we see the two of them together as well. So this is the art that I chose. I thought it was just going to be a simple painting, a simple drawing, um, but it was so much more than that. Um, people were really influenced through this. Um, one lady said it felt like she was the one who was inside of the artwork. Um, she got to experience, feel like she was inside of the painting, um, just getting to walk through this um, back in 2005. So this is my art. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed getting to learn a lot about this. Really enjoyed my time in this class. Um, and let me know what kind of your favorite part of this was. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.